I am in Moundsville, West Virginia. Behind me is a big old prison, but we're not concerned about that right now. Across from it is uh, the Grave Creek Mound, and it has its own museum and everything. So uh, we're gonna go check this out. Now I've been to a lot of these mounds. They are all over the Midwest, but uh, I'm pretty sure this is the biggest one I've ever been to. This thing is huge. This was constructed over 2,000 years ago by the Adena people who lived around here in this area of West Virginia, Ohio, uh, and throughout the Midwest. And uh, this was a very common practice. You can find these all over the place. But it's, this is definitely one of the best preserved ones I've ever seen. Let's see, how many views does a big grassy hill get? It is 69 feet tall, <laughs> 69, and uh, 295 feet in diameter. I'm not sure what these old buildings are for. Probably built around the same time as the prison kind of look like the West Virginia State Penitentiary across the street. Um, not sure what these were. And all of this area would have been uh, like a village or a settlement for a long time. We'll look inside of this one, it appears the roof has collapsed. This may have been built as part of the park when it was first preserved, like the original museum or something. There's like probably the roof right there. And uh, we're gonna go climb up the mound now. Alright, we're headed up the mound. Put a staircase Pretty old. I think this has been a attraction for quite a while. And all right, this is the top of the mound. This obelisk was put here in 1942, so it's probably around when this first became an attraction. And it serves as a compass. Check out this view. You can see the West Virginia penitentiary there. By the way, I did go inside and make a video there, so uh, check that out. That's an unbelievably large building. Look how far that goes. And to the northeast, you can see a big blue bridge crossing the Ohio River. See the uh, old abandoned building there. Roof collapsed. Now this is also a very special mound because it has its own museum. Grave Creek Mound Archaeological Complex Museum. The mound is a National Historic Landmark. The museum was built in 1978, it is run by the state, and it still does feel like a modern at the time 70s museum, which is something I can sense. First off, they have some prehistoric natural history displays. This is a model of an early amphibian nest. This is a school of Jefferson's giant ground sloth. 
This head did not specifically belong to Thomas Jefferson, but in 1796 he was sent several bones found in caves in what is now West Virginia, and he theorized that these bones were from a lion, and he thought they were still in existence. Also, Jefferson didn't believe that an animal could go extinct naturally. They have some more bones and replicas of some prehistoric animals. This is one of the Clifton Heights petroglyphs from the late prehistoric period. That carved Russian mammoth tusk is pretty awesome. The Adena people characterized the Woodland Era, starting around 1000 BC. The Adena were the mound builders, and they lived all over the Midwest, the Ohio Valley, the Mississippi Valley, and the Atlantic region. It's important to remember that they didn't have the wheel or horses, so they had to move all the dirt for the mounds by hand or in baskets. Now they usually cremated bodies, placed the remains in small log tombs, and then covered them with earth. One thing they did similarly to the ancient Egyptian practice was that they buried important people with objects like ornaments and beads, though I'm not sure if they believed that it would go with them into the afterlife like the Egyptians did. Around 500 BC, the Adena culture turned into the Hopo culture, which you could say was a little more sophisticated, I guess. During archaeological digs at the mound, they found some bodies and decorations, and they also found the Grave Creek Stone. It was discovered during the first excavation in 1838. It was a small disc with 25 characters, so it was viewed as the Adena Rosetta Stone because they thought it was evidence of a primitive language. It was sold to the British Museum in London. It's still in their collection, but from my understanding, it's been proven as a hoax by the guy who was doing the excavations. These items were recovered from the Confederate Camp Allegheny. Here are some Victorian era archaeological finds, some pretty neat stuff in this case, including an electric toothbrush. That's a bunch of Homer Laughlin china. These vintage dioramas are really neat. Back to the topic of the Grave Creek Mound, it is one of the largest conical mounds built. It was built in stages from 250 to 150 BC. The mound builders moved over 60,000 tons of dirt to build it. It may just be a pile of dirt, but it is kind of an engineering feat, especially for the prehistoric times. Like most Adena mounds, it was used for burials, and it's considered a reason for the West Virginia Penitentiary being so haunted. There were lots of people killed at the penitentiary and also they're buried on the grounds there. But some believe that these ancient Native American spirits nearby also help with the paranormal activity that takes place there. Also, there was a small moat surrounding the mound for defensive purposes. Hi. 
And here's a wax figure of a Native American. 